we are going to make a flipper today to replace number seven. Number seven is a little wide, so we couldn't find a lateral that's wide enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a central in the shade that we like, and we're going to make it look like uh, number ten by rounding it out and doing a couple things to it. So first we duplicated the cast, so this is our duplicated model because when you're making your flipper sometimes it'll break, so we duplicated the cast. Go. Clean out the space as if you extracted the tooth. Now we've shaped our lateral, but it's too tall because Machine error. <laughs> Machinist error. Um, so let's get some wax. We'll hold it in place. We'll think about bending our wires now. Okay. Okay. We bent our wires so they engage in the interproximals of the teeth. You can see there. And then we're going to use the sprinkle technique for this part. So, throw some acrylic on. Okay, so we about have what we need, about have the thickness we want. We just need this area to be just a little bit thicker. Obviously, if we get it nice and thick, it's just not gonna break through it. Okay, we're gonna submerge it in warm water. Out locks, we want 20 psi. Maybe about 15 minutes, 20 psi. Yep. We've been 15 minutes. Nice and hard. Got that acrylic feel to it. Now we're gonna see if we can get it off. Not enough separating agent. Ready to see what happened? <laughs> now. Okay. Here's what it looks like. We recovered it from the other cast. Not to drop it. Okay. 
Okay. We'll clean it up just slightly more. Can you see its hands? Yeah, you can see it. Nice and clean, nice and polished. Ready to go. Ready to go. Way too much work. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got that on video. <laughs> Perfect. It's going well. <laughs>